universal designs. A B A B A B A A B A B A B A B A B C A B A B A B A B A B C B A B A B A B C B A B C B C B A B C B C B A B C B A B C B C B C Thank you, Ron and Nancy Martella, for clarifying that you can do a lot of different types of reversal designs. And for those of you that don't know the Martellas, you go look up their damn research right now because it's cool. It is. It really is. Um Anyway, they're just that awesome. Anyway, so reversal design is an experimental technique where you put something in place, you know, a condition in place, you, or start with a baseline, and then you put some sort of intervention phase in place, and then you remove that intervention phase and go back to baseline, and then you put it back in place. That's an ABAB design, right? So the idea is you, you're trying to establish this sort of on-off effect on behavior. It's a light switch, right? So we want the behavior to go on and off and on and off, or up and down or up and down, whatever it is, right? Um, when, at, or at the moment that we switch conditions, or almost at the moment. There's always some changes uh, or there's always some transition periods. So uh, reversal or withdrawal designs. Yeah. So again, thank you, Ron and Nancy for clarifying that they're not, um, they're, they're not completely interchangeable terms, but they're often talked about that way. So, um, wow, the camera's shaking. I haven't seen the camera shake in a long time. So uh, that's creeping me out. It must be in a reversal design. <laughs> See you. Bye.